So I thought we could play a little game called Let's Test Amy's Memory because as always out of the 10 DVDs that I ordered online from CEX I think I can remember one of them but even then I'm not that confident because I had a huge list of films that I wanted to buy and I just picked some of them at random. So I think Nurse Betty is in here which is a Renee Zellweger film. Massive brownie points to me if I get that right. The other nine, not a clue. So I think there's only one in here and the first DVD that we're starting off with is yes this is 40 I was really hoping I'd bought this because I really wanted it this is Leslie Mann and Paul Rudd and I've gone through a bit of a Paul Rudd obsession at the moment although every time I see him I do just think crap bag but I, I've been so desperate to see this and Jason Siegel's in it so if you've seen this is 40 let me know what you think of it I really can't wait to see this so this appears to be another sticky pouch that has just one in it and here we have R.I.P.D. I wasn't really sure about this and even when when it came out in the cinema about two years ago maybe a year ago I thought nah I'm not really sure um so if you've seen it again let me know what you think of it I kind of bought it on a whim because it sounds interesting but I've heard really bad reviews about it it's kind of about these two cops who uh I don't really know it's something about dead policemen that's basically the extent of my knowledge, uh, so so we'll see, but I really like Ryan Reynolds. So. so we seem to have a few in here, which is rather exciting. And the first, if I can get into the bag, if I can't, is... The Fantastic Fear of Everything. I have no idea what this is about, but I do think Simon Pegg is fantastic. It does look kind of entertaining um it's about a children's author turned crime novelist which i think is a really bizarre and fascinating concept anyway and as a simon Pegg fan i've got a feeling i'm going to like this next up from that same pouch and the last one is jeff who lives at home and uh yeah i bought this because jason siegel's in it i really like jason siegel i'm really into comedies at the moment like normally i'm a thriller and horror fan but I don't know if it's just because I'm like really stressed about nothing in particular but I just really enjoy relaxing to comedies at the moment and you know I love Paul Rudd and Jason Segel and I think they do a lot of good films together. Paul Rudd's obviously not in this but yes so we will see what this is like. This one feels kind of thick and weighted. I think there's two in here. Let's see if I can do this in one go. I did it! <laughs> yes there are two in here and the first one is how to make an American quilt. This is Winona Ryder. This was, I think, 50 pence or 75 pence. And I, rem I remember buying this one because the last time I wanted it, it wasn't in stock. Yes, so I remember being very happy about that. Now that I'm looking at the images on the back, I'm kind of thinking it's not, it doesn't look like the kind of film that I'm currently in the mood for, but it's Winona Ryder and I love her, so we'll see. And the last one in this pouch, <laughs> The Doll Graveyard. I think I saw this on another YouTuber's channel. I think that's how this came to my attention. And, I mean, look away now if you're scared of dolls. Look how incredible that looks. It says at the bottom, fun little film with interesting characters and wonderfully demented dolls. Demented dolls, fantastic concept. Uh, shameless plug, there's a, a doll, a psycho doll in my short story collection, Robin Mutt the Haunted Clown, 13 Tales of Death, just if you're interested in bizarre dolls. Uh, it's set in 1905 as well, so oh, I, I need this to be good. This is one of those films that just needs to be good. And the last one is a bit of a beast. So there are one, two, three, four in here. I'm hoping one of these is Nurse Betty or I have issues. Unbreakable. Shyamalan. I am such a big Shyamalan fangirl, it's ridiculous. But so many people are like, he's rubbish and he's not done a good film in years. And... I just think his his twists are so good and his stories are so dark. I don't know anything about this, but it's Shyamalan, so I'm definitely curious. Is the third last one Nurse Betty? No, it's not. This is The Descent. Why did I buy this one? I kind of feel like there was a reason why I bought this one, um, but there's nobody in it that I, rec I recognise it. I don't recognise the director, but there must have been a good reason for it. Maybe it was recommended to me. If you know why I bought it, let me know. Uh, but it looks, it looks, it's, it's labelled as the scariest British horror film in 20 years. When was this released? 2005. So, yeah. I like a good challenge. I like to see how scary this is. 
second last it better be nurse betty or i'm gonna cry it's not <laughs> but it is gone baby gone which has a brilliant cast katie affleck and uh, morgan freeman and this is currently not really looking like a film that i'm in the mood for it's about a, a little girl who disappears and that's basically my knowledge on that but i love films that are dark about children because i think the contrast of of crime and innocence is just so striking and so emotive but I've not actually heard that much about this despite the pretty strong cast so I'm, I'm really keen to see how it holds up. Now the last one I'm actually kind of thinking it might be the Butterfly Effect 3 but I'm kind of hoping it's Nurse Betty so I've not lost the plot so <laughs> it's the last one. Oh thank goodness for that. It is Nurse Betty although I'm pretty sure I did order the Butterfly 3 as well but this is 10 and I only ordered 10 so maybe I didn't. But I'm, <laughs> it had to be the last one, it's driving me a bit crazy, but I love Renee Zellweger and I've wanted to see this for quite a while, with Morgan Freeman again. So yeah, th th I mean this has to be good just because of how much of a pedestal I've placed it on. On the one hand I kind of like forgetting what I've ordered because it means I get a surprise. I'm very very glad that this is 40th in here because I was so desperate to have ordered it and I I'm going to watch that tonight straight away. Nurse Betty looks really interesting. Uh, I think Jeff who lives at home and the Fantastic Theatre of Everything could be really fun relaxing watches. But yeah, if you've seen any of these or if you want to see them, let me know your thoughts and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye!